In Australia, approximately 250,000 children start school each year. Look, listen and learn is the catch cry of early education. So it goes without saying that sight and hearing are critical to a successful learning pathway. Children need to hear to learn. But all too often, undetected hearing problems cause children to fall behind during primary school until someone thinks to have the child's hearing checked. By the time this happens, the child may not only be behind academically, but may have come to deeply believe that he or she will never be able to keep up with the other children at school. While babies are tested at birth through the SWISH program, there is no follow-up in the preschool year. While universal newborn screening of hearing detects children born with hearing loss, provided it's moderate or greater degree, many other children have hearing problems. Some of these children have mild loss. Some acquire hearing loss through infections or through accidents or because of genetic reasons that cause their hearing to just gradually get worse as they get older. There are an even greater number of children that have hearing disorders, not in their ears at all, but in their brains. Some of these have brain-based hearing disorders that are actually the consequences of middle ear infections they had when they were infants, toddlers or preschoolers long ago. Research has confirmed that more than double the number of children are being detected with hearing loss at ages 5 through to 8 compared to the number detected at birth. How much better would it be if these children could be diagnosed in preschool or right at the start of kindergarten? so that they don't have that first bad experience of one, two or even three years of just not coping. What's been missing in the hearing healthcare system is a low cost, easily administered, reliable test of hearing that can be widely applied to children around the time they start school. Now thanks to technology and a marriage of creativity and science, an accessible hearing test solution has been developed. CME4 Productions, in collaboration with the National Acoustic Laboratories, has developed Sound Scouts, an entertaining game that surreptitiously tests a child's hearing while they play. The game has been many years in the making. Rigorous trials have ensured that it meets both the stringent clinical requirements and the creative expectations of our digital savvy five-year-olds. The Sound Scouts hearing game looks and feels like a game, but it's got several advanced scientific principles that enable it to detect a wide range of hearing problems. These include conductive hearing loss, um, arising from infections or other problems, sensory neural hearing loss, which of course is permanent, auditory neuropathy, which is a, a newly found form of hearing loss, and central auditory processing disorders, the, the difficulties of hearing that are coming from the brain. The game comprises three interleave tests of hearing. Two of these are based on perceiving speech, one in noise, one in quiet, and the other one is listening to tones against the noise background. Any time you hear a bird call like this, tap on the big red button. Each of these tests constantly adapts so the child is always listening at the edge of their hearing capability. And while Sound Scouts is based on science, it's the gameplay that encourages and enables a valid hearing test result. We hope that Sound Scouts will be widely adopted and that this means that no child will go through years of school with an unmanaged hearing loss. Sound Scouts, check your child's hearing before they start school.